Happy Ascension Day. I'm Matthew, the Associate Minister at St Peter's, and welcome to this time of prayers and readings as we rejoice in the good news of Jesus' presence in heaven interceding for us. Today also marks the beginning of Thy Kingdom Come and our global and ecumenical movement of prayer. We'll be gathering as a church from tomorrow each evening by Zoom and taking time to pray individually for the needs of our community and our world at this time. I pray that this short time of prayer would encourage you today. After each of the readings and during the prayers, there'll be moments of quiet to pause and reflect. And if you're struggling to find the words to pray, then simply join in with an Amen. Let's ask for God's help now. Almighty God, as we prepare to worship today, we ask that you will stretch our imaginations to sense the majesty and mystery of your ascension. Help us perceive how Jesus' presence in heaven can give us confidence in our praying and hope for the future. Through Jesus our Lord. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Gladden the soul of your servant. For to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptised with water, but in a few days you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know the times or dates the father has set by his own authority but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. The reading is taken from Psalm 93. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. Indeed, the world is established, firm and secure. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up, Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the thunder of the great waters. Mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. Your statutes, Lord, stand firm. Holiness adorns your house for endless days. Here ends the reading. Last May we were able to celebrate Ascension Day with our friends at St Mark's, a joint service on Ascension Day evening. And whilst we're not able to share in worship together this year, 
we thought it would be still good to pray for each other. Would you take a few moments now to pray for Ian Hedges, the vicar, and the congregation at St. Mark's at this time? Our Father, grant that the congregation of St. Mark's may live in the fullness of your power, filled with your peace, directed by your Spirit, and sent as Christ was sent. We ask this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Ephesians 1, 15 to 23. For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. I keep asking for the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation this, so that you may know him better. I pray also that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you know the hope to which he has called you the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and his incomparably great power for us who believe. That power is like the working of his mighty strength, which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every title that can be given, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills everything in every way. The good news of Ascension Day is that Jesus, the faithful servant king, is at the right hand of the Father, interceding, praying for us, and he promises to hear our prayers. And as we've heard in Ephesians, he is far above all rule and authority and power. We pray to one who has the power to act. As we come to pray, there will be moments of quiet throughout the prayers, for you to bring your own prayers to God. Jesus Christ, Mediator and High Priest, we thank you for becoming human and for experiencing the joys and sorrows of life, which assures us that you are able to sympathise and rejoice with us. We praise you for the many joys of life, for the beauty of creation. For your work in this world. For the growth of your kingdom. For the greatest source of our happiness, the gift of eternal life. As our mediator, you stand before God on our behalf, so we boldly bring before you our prayers for creation and its care. The nations of the world. our nation and its leaders. This community and those in authority.
the church universal as it works on your behalf. This local church, St. Peter's, in its ministry. Persons with particular needs, thinking about those affected by the coronavirus, those who are working in health and social care. We pray this in your strong name, O Christ, our Mediator and High Priest, who taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Grant, we pray, almighty God that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. May the grace of the Holy Spirit enlighten our hearts and minds. Alleluia. Amen.